All right, hello again. Uh, I am gonna record uh, another section of my, uh, sorry, should have focused my head before I started chattering. Second part of my Shutterfly album demo for you. I have a few people who have asked me over the years how to do this. Um, so if you watch the first intro, you should have a an account set up and you should have all your photos uploaded. Um, and then uh, you've also started, you've chosen a background or a design for your book, chosen a size, chosen if you're gonna have it um, lay flat. Uh, or if you're saving a couple bucks and you know you're not concerned about that, then that's awesome too. Either way works totally. You know it's your artwork. Um, for me, this is artwork. It's designing an entire book, and I've done it in a day or two, and literally, you know, lived and breathed it for a few days. So, uh, if you are doing that, then good for you. I am not going to make the deadline to get this 50% off. So I'm just gonna design the whole thing and go from there. Uh, so if you haven't already done it, and you're gonna have to just pause while this happens, and then uh, this could be your phase two if you haven't done it yet. Over here, there's an add photo section. Uh, I did go to all photos and I've added, um, you can actually bump this a little bit bigger with the arrow tab. Uh, I have uploaded uh, 979 photos from this year. Um, at one point, it was not letting me add more. I've never had that happen before. Um, and then all of a sudden, I uh, deleted some and something changed and it let me back in again. So, um, so I have just under, you know, a thousand photos. That's normal. I'm at 111 pages. I went up to... Um, now mine is grayed out, but right here it says add pages, so you can add 91 pages, and I always choose the little circle that says add to the end of my project. I do it at first, because I know I'm going to fill it. If you want to, you know, keep it at a certain amount, you can, uh, you can even see your total. Mine says 200 bucks. Hopefully I'll find some deal and I won't have to pay 200 bucks for it. But again, it's my, compared to a scrapbook uh, amount of money that I used to spend on those with stickers and things, a couple hundred bucks is nothing to make a keepsake like this. Um, it's also saved online. So, I mean, I can go back and look at books that I made for like 2014, 2012, I think. So, um, you know, you even can print an older one again. Um, it's kind of a nice, I like having that little buffer zone if somebody spills a coffee or cocoa on it or the, you know, the dog chews it up or whatever, I can, I can take the, the money wallop and, uh, buy another one if I had to. Um, or sometimes a gift one. I've done a, like a whole Disney one, um, which I gave to my mom. She wasn't able to go on a, on a trip to Disney World with us. So, uh, cause she was really sick. So, I made them and printed two, and so she, one was specially for her, but of course we had to have a copy too, because it's with my kids in it. So uh, anyway, so lots of options for that. Um, you can always message and ask me uh, if there's something I miss, but um, so yeah, so I've added all my pages in, do an 11 by 14 size, hardcover, if you like 10 by 10, because you want square pages, go for it. Uh, I think another button that's really important right up here, um, you can either do project and then save or control S for your shortcut. Or when this, once I start typing, this will go um, live again and I can, I can hit save as I go. So definitely save as you go. I finish a page, I save. It becomes just a, a routine. Um, okay, so going down to the bottom here, couple of tabs. You've got your pages tab, so you can actually see them kind of reduced um, at a distance, see what what pictures are in there. In case you put one in the wrong place, you want to go find it. And then photos. Now, really, really one of my most favorite things, because I did put a couple photos in just to show you. Um, once they load, maybe they're not on page one, maybe they're on page two. Ah. 
Uh, so I started my album with a couple of photos from last Christmas because they'll segue in from uh, from the end of that book. Uh, so I've used these two photos. So down the bottom here, uh, they have their little orange check mark. So go right here where it says hide used. Uh, and it's gonna it's gonna hide all my photos down the bottom here that I've already put into the album. So super, super important. You've got your little arrow tab. So if I wanna go back to the cover uh, or over to page four, page six, cause I clicked too many times. So page four, page five, you got a double page here. Um, and this is just for ease, just so you see how you can do it on here. If I go down and I hover over one photo and I uh, left mouse click, and then I'm using I'm using my little um, mouse pad that's on the laptop. If you're using a mouse, you can still do a left click and and all that. Drag, drop, boom. It it enlarged it, um, you know. So play around with it a little bit. You can drag and drop. Don't if you hover over the first photo, they'll replace it. So maybe I decide I don't want that picture of me. I drag my new one right over the top and it switches it out. If I want all three, drag drop, but stay around the outside in the margin. And boom, it, it changes the design for you. You don't have to stay with that one. That's why you've got all this left, all these awesome little choices on the left here. I can go over click on that setup and boom, it changes my whole arrangement. You'll get to be really good at that. Um, you also have number of photos in layout as a choice. So maybe, you know, if you're only doing one main photo, but you know, what if I decide, well, there's, there's two more, there's two more pictures I'm going to need in this. So I'm clicking on five plus for choices and I'm going to scroll down a little bit Oops, now that's gonna be too many because I, I only have five photos. So boom, left to myself. Um, spots that are open, obviously lots of hovering over anything pops up little windows. So just move your move your mouse a little bit and you'll be you'll be set. Uh, it'll go away. But I got a couple more pictures I wanna drop in there. I'm not I'm not going crazy with fixing these yet. My first goal is to get all the pictures into the album. Then I go back to the beginning, page one, and I design each page. I add my embellishments. I add, change my background. I add or change pictures. But for now, I'm going to show you how to, how to storyboard this in a second uh, to make this part much easier. I can do each page, drag and drop, but there's an easier way. And, well, you know, we like easy, so... But don't forget, now I've added five pictures. Go up, this is turned blue now. Just click on save. It'll say, so it says saved at 454. So I'm, uh, at least I'm not gonna lose anything that I just did. So I'm gonna right, I'm sorry, I'm gonna left arrow back to the beginning. So now the designer part of me immediately wants to fix every single page as I go, but I've learned that it's faster to storyboard the whole thing and then go back and then I can play with maybe one page or two pages if I'm doing a spread, um, you know, at the same time. I did pick a picture of my kids for the for the front cover. That's my latest photo of both of them. Um, usually what I do um, or if we've done a trip or something like that. And then right at the end, that's gonna be my back cover. So when I go all the way through, I'll end up here. Um, you know, I usually have the dog or something in there. Um, but you obviously can have a great time with organizing that uh, and picking your your front cover, back cover. If you're not sure, you can, uh, you can do that and save it at the very end. You can also, um, even though you've done hide used, you can you can definitely go and reuse a photo again if you want to. So don't feel like just because it's, um, it's already been used, you can't do it again. Uh, that is my dog drinking his water in the background. 
We're all about sound effects, I guess, today. So I'm just, now I'm just messing around. So, sorry, put my car in the back there. Um, I'm still going to hit save. Excuse me. Thank you, Coda. So, yeah, that's the Labrador who needs extra water slurping in the background. Okay, so, again, we are, we're back on our front and our back cover. I'll add words. I'll add the date. So, if you click on the center, um, on the spine of the book, you'll be able to put the year. Make sure you put the year you want, not the current year, since we just switched over to 2019. Um... So I'm just going to make up a title, Year of Art, just so that I have something there. Now, you can't actually see it because my color over here is white. I'm going to turn it to black. Lots of clicking. It, it tells me what my font is. So for Futura Bold, uh, it tells me what size. Now, you can, you can bump things up and make them nice and big. I do that. But at some point, you get... And I don't know if you can see it, but you'll know you get a little caution sign, which basically is telling you you don't want to make it that big. It's not going to print correctly. So if it gives you a caution, the only time you can kind of change things when it gives you a caution about a photo, maybe it's not great quality, but you can live with that because you need that picture to be bigger or or reduce the size of the frame, the little picture frame um, if you need to, to have it still hold up. So... Uh, you get better at that as you go along, but uh, but watch for the little caution sign. Um, and if you can't see it in the picture, make a change over here because if you can't see it here, it's not going to print. Um, the only thing I think that they don't print is when there was a, a uh, caution sign on here or on here and you print anyway you'll get some sort of strange text or something, but the caution sign won't show up. So your text might just be blown off, up off the edges or cropped or cut or something that you didn't want, but you won't get the caution sign. So pros and cons on that one. Um, okay, so I'm going to save again. And sorry, see, this is how, this is why this takes me so long. All right, so let's go. Right now we're in edit. So again, as you saw, and that's where most of my designing is going to is going to happen and you can do it in the basic edit when you get really really good and you've figured out backgrounds and embellishments and layouts then you can go over here to advanced editing and that will actually let you move everything independently so you can resize you can change everything exactly the way you want it uh but wait on wait on that for a little while until you're really good at it. Uh, and I have this, I think. Okay, well, I just reduced that. You can also, you know, mess around with your options to actually just see the screen. Maybe you just want to work on half of it. Um, I personally, oops, I personally click the wrong buttons a lot. I do work at about 100%, 110 um, you know, you can mess around with that. Uh, maybe you're working on a bigger computer screen too. Uh, okay. So we're in edit. Don't worry about a range and things later. Explore them. You can click through and look, but right now we're going to go to storyboard, which is probably looks a little overwhelming. Um, but it's really, really handy. So I've got all my pictures on the left that I want to add. And then I've got a miniature of the book on the right. No details, no pictures, uh, or sorry, no backgrounds or anything. No embellishments, just the pictures themselves. So cover, front cover, back cover. And then that jumps me. Well, no, I'm sorry. Page one. I guess they don't show you the covers on this part. Um, so page two, page three. So, you know, if I want to put, let's say, one picture I know of me chugging the big Hershey chocolate bottle, and that's going to be my page one, um, that can go over there. That's fine. And now all I did was drag and drop. I just want to scroll down here. So, so we'll skip the ones I did, page four, page five. So right here, um, I'm going to put 
I'm actually, I have a whole group of pictures from when my friend visited, so I'm gonna have to save those for page eight and nine. A lot of the times I have filler pictures, maybe I, well, it's always the dog and the cats. Um, so sometimes I need to put a whole bunch of pictures of the critters in. So I've got a whole bunch of my cats and the dogs, and so I just clicked on the kitty cat picture, drag, drop. And this just is quick, easy. It's gonna let me fill that up if I need to. I mean, if I put in 10 photos, it's gonna, it's gonna pick basically the only background and layout that will hold 10 pictures for me. So yeah, in a way I'm, I'm actually making it easier for myself, but here go the, here goes the first stretch of puppy dogs. Um, sorry if I'm rambling on this, this will get me further into the plan. So now I'm going to, um, again, for page six and seven, I've got my pictures of us from Super Bowl and such. And so I am going to just drag, drop all these quickly. Oh, now I found, I didn't realize that I found another one that goes to my previous page um, with my bowling pins. So I can just quickly drop that in. I don't have to worry about layouts or anything. I'll worry about that later. But right now I am just, I'm dragging and dropping food and people into my double page spread, excuse me. Um, and this, you know, again, if I go, just go through all these photos, I can get every picture that I need for that event or that holiday or that party or that kids show, whatever you're putting in there. Um, I'll just boom right into the two pages I want. And then I'll show you, I can go back, I can start making it pretty. This one I knew. So let's see. And I may have filled it up enough. All right, so I've, I've probably overfilled those two already. Um, no big deal. I'm gonna click my save button again. And so now I've got, I mean, I've still got oodles of things to do for my layout. I'm sorry for my storyboard, but for now, I'm gonna hop back into edit. And you'll see, once I click it in the correct spot. Okay, so there are my pictures um, and they found they've done pretty well for me putting most of the pictures in I had a couple more that I need to put in so I'm gonna just drag them and drop them in now and then I can uh, I can pick the better background layout that is gonna hold all my pictures because I don't really need quite the one they've gotten me. It's not usually that good. Uh, but boy, did it save me time. Um, so now the best thing you can do, if anything, is, is fiddle around with your choices. Five plus texts, um, sorry, five plus pictures. You know, you can change it out a little bit. Uh, if you pick an option, And there's extra photos. You can move some over left and right because I'm doing a double page spread. So it's okay to, to move them around a little bit um, until you pick the one over on the left that you want that's gonna hold all your pictures. Now, if I went to like a two page or two photo spread right here, it's gonna keep two of my photos and throw all the rest of them back into the bottom. So you wanna still save yourself time um, and pick something that's gonna hold a large amount of photos. I'm also, I'm on page seven over here, so that's the one that's turned orange, but I wanna be on page six. No big deal if you do the wrong one. Um, don't forget you have your undo button right here, undo or redo. 
these little arrows that go left and right. Magical, superb. Um, definitely take advantage of that because we love undo. Or we need we need undo sometimes. Uh, no, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Not quite sure where my other. Hmm. I'm trying to scroll that. Okay, that well, that's a little better, I guess. That's not what I thought it was gonna do. Um. So yeah, you can do things like that. <laughs> Make sure you're going to have a big, awesome, huge photo in the middle that you want to. And then you can just bump, bump, bump pictures back and forth, left and right, until you get the layout that you want. Remember, click save, especially once you got all those photos up there. Um, so I will, uh, I'm going to sign off now and I'm going to work just on storyboarding. And then once everything is storyboarded, I'll do one more video for you with actually designing a few of the pages, adding embellishments, um, saving and finalizing. Um, and then I think there's actually an option where you can share it so that you can even post it online. Maybe you have somebody that wants to see the book, but you're not going to spend a hundred bucks to, to pay for that and send it to them. Uh, they can view it online. So uh, they can buy their own. So seems kind of cool, but um, I hope that wasn't too confusing. Go back through um, and just, you know, definitely add your photos down the bottom here. So you've got all of them. Oh, and you can also choose to have them in the order of oldest to newest. And there's a couple other options on the drag on the drag down menu there on the right. So um, they do have an autofill. That's your option. I don't use autofill because... I, it usually adds like two pictures and I end up having to add 15 more to a page. So I found for me, cause I use so many photos, it doesn't work very well, but, uh, but yeah, you can rearrange these photos down the bottom. You can try autofill, see if you like it. If you do great, if you don't get back out of there and, and add them yourselves through the storyboard. Um, so anyway. I uh, hope this gives you a couple of clues um, to design an album at some point. And, of course, you can always preview it up here. Don't do add to cart till the end, but preview. You can see it blown up. You can turn the pages. Uh, so definitely make sure at the very end, I always do everything I can think of, do preview, make a few notes on a post-it note, and then go back. So um, you don't need to do that till the end, but just so that you know it's there. All right. Well, Happy New Year again, folks. Um, it's been a fun day. I at least got started on this, so I will uh, I'll hook you up with one more video when I'm ready to design. So good luck, and let me know uh, if this helps or if you have questions. Have a great day. Hop on over to my Crate Joy shop at Paint and Party uh, MT. No, no, no. Paint and Party Go. Sorry, too many letters. And uh, subscribe to our boxes. We ship stuff directly to you. So it's easy. And you can do art in the comfort of your own home with your pajamas. And your uh, glass of wine or a cocoa. What could be better? All right. Have a great one. Thanks for watching. Bye.